on the clock here for the first quarter. 3 p.m. local time. And first draw underway. with the drop possession. Moving in on the fast break. Has their early shot, but saved. Just on the towel in the cage. Comes up with the money to have a nice stop. Pullover's able to back that up though. Keeps possession. And the feed inside. The pass broken up. Got the grab ball. Just inside the boundary, Ram State with possession. Got the left handed shot, sails wide left to the net. Actually killed his body with the shot there. Well dodged, another shot. This one's saved by Milliken. So how do you have to be down in transition, but we've got a ground ball here in the midfield. Stepping over the restraining line there, fighting for that ground ball, gets the offsides call. Rams with a shot on the doorstep here, and they get it. Shot and goal. 25, Carly Livingston, freshman attacker from Farmingdale. Knots it up 1 1, 11 42 to go here in the first.
gets the trail check.
Marmatello and the no. Cage both with some impressive saves. <laughs> Defense slides in, shutting down the lane. No shot opportunity. Rams bring it behind GLE. Looking for the drive. Again, an opportunity not there. And makes a smart decision, pulls it out. Get the assist. And she's got it. Assist coming from Megan Diamond to number 12, Jordan New. Sophomore from Newhide Park. Putting the Rams back on top. 3-2. Diamond. 
Rams keeping it at the perimeter. Here's an opportunity to drive in. Got a yellow card coming in. Going against Martin. He's going to set Rams up with the player up advantage here in a free position. Drive in, shot. Milken had a taste of it, but not able to stop it. Shot and goal. For the Rams, Megan Diamond. And with that, Rams extend the lead to two. Shot goes wide right on the second attempt. Second of the day, shot and goal for Megan Diamond. So at this point, five goals from Farmingdale, three different goal scorers. Two and a half to go here in this first half. Coach Vandeville looking to make some adjustments here with the Royal Bears team. As we have an answer here from Farmingdale. Ball slips to the restraining pass. Oh, there's three more. There was a little bit early entry. I think there's some pressure here on whether she was pushed over or not. But in any event, Farmingdale gets possession awarded. Here's really Romeo, able to successfully transition all by herself. And FSC back into a settled offense. something I always appreciate at the college level. Space favoring the offense, and you definitely see when you get to this more advanced level of play, the team spreading out more, taking advantage, using the entire field. Got a whistle on the drive on. And uh, I think that might have been a charge call, possession turning over to the Polar Bears. But we 
It's almost last night as well, too. This wing's right. Pretty difficult to work through. Checking the sphere. Tori Weiss on the restart. I think they actually might have been yellow card. They might have thought that there was some contact with the stick in the head there. So, since Emory saw him off field for two minutes. So it's a I'll go back to 90. 40 seconds on the clock. And the yellow cards will carry over through the halftime period if there's not a goal. It was a card, right? Yeah, it wasn't hard. I would have seen it. So ball out of bounds. Clock continue to run here. Ohio Northern with about 20 seconds to work with. See if they can get another one on the board before halftime. Working with this player up advantage. Trying to get inside. No call there. With that, clock at zero. That's the end of your first half here. Here we go for the start of the second quarter. through splits of the fenders. Valve inside the eight. Gives Martin the eight meter shot. Miss shot saved by Stomatello. Picked off, takes it in. Stomatello with another great stop. And the horse to make that interception had the one on one. Stomatello, just a brick wall, says no way. Chance to clear it out. Teams coming into the second quarter. Mark Dyson Stomatello makes another save. Get open! 
Gets the win on this 50 50, heading back the other direction. Great look. It's the assist over to Jordan Lee for her 
first second of the game. Yeah. 
Time to split the defenders between the one through. to a GP and turn it over back to the Rams. control. This Permadale defense, we saw them last night shut down just about every opportunity from Northwestern and not making things easy today for Ohio Northern as well. Making them earn every bit over here, but Pearl Bear is able to keep possession here. down to two, but off the whistle, possession given to the Rams, either way, a fast break here, trying to catch the defense before they can settle. Wilbur's <laughs> defense swarms. Pushed down from behind. Looks to be okay. Let's go, Bear! Come on, Bear! Let's go! 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 let just a little too short, bounces over the cage. Covered by Ohio Northern. Thirty 
seconds on the shot clock. Let's go, babe! Nice one-handed grab. Works in, but Graham's defense responds again. Second attempt, this shot deflected out the back. Shot clock at 10. Ohio Northern tries one more time. This one stopped. Stomatello with a big stop. Great defensive stand here from the Rams. High pass on the other side. The shot clock was reset to 60, so some time to work with here for the Polar Bears. The game clock down to under a minute here in the first half. Off the grab ball, out of bounds, turns back over to the Rams. So early engagement warning called by the official. So I think that's one of those heat of the moment plays. The Rams with a chance here. Trying to get one more on the board before half, or see if they just hold it. Had the opportunity for the fast break, but not able to pull that pass in, so forces them to settle things out. About 15 seconds to work with. Dale State up 8-3 at the end of your first half here in Mesa, Arizona at the Arizona Athletic Scrap. Oh, 
ball upfield. First call here at the 12 meter. Defender gets the bounce shot and goal and assisted Emily Song. So after almost five minutes of play, first goal of the half goes to the Rams, taking a 9 3 lead. Pass, but she's able to get her own GB. Shot and goal for number four. Ashley Cota's body. Senior midfielder gets her second one.
for Polar Bears going up against Ashley Cota's body on the draw. Picked up by Capola. that angle shot saved by Milliken. And Milliken comes up with a nice stop. Passes over to Gabby Manastra. Great 
look. Olivia Cassisi. Shot and goal. That'll be a hat trick for the senior midfielder. Let's 
signaling to Weiss where she wants her to go and working out perfectly. Farmingdale Ride continuing to make things difficult here for the Bears. Great cross turnover knockdown there from Sarah Baba. and tries to shoot over the defenders. And uh, that's going to be dangerous follow through shooting into the defender with the stick. So possession awarded back over Owen Yu. out on the right wing, brings it up behind, go line extended. seconds to play here in the third. Yeah, they don't see much at all. So whistle stops play. Trying to find any way to get inside the eight meter and 
get a shot angle. That'll be a charge. Heading back the other direction.
up. Set up the 
ISO opportunity. Draws the whistle. So here's Lydia Lehman. Only playing defense, but here on attack. Has the ball checked. So pass back to the stick of Riley, going to clear it out, out of the goal circle. Riley hits her target on the far side. Megan Diamond. Not able to keep it inbounds. Let's go! Keegan Burton going to bring this back over to the attacking side for the Polar Bears. So has a look inside, tries to roll the cage. Defensive stop. Whistle inside the eight. So, Liz Graham to the second inside hash. Ronnie Riley defending Graham. Fires a bounce shot. Goes wide right. Aaron shot. So backed up by the Rams.